this year's one. I got a pair of me some meat. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. I'll show you where we're diving at today. Nice, pretty, green field pond. Green because it's dyed green. So of course we're going to come out looking like uh, <laughs> green aliens when we get done. But basically what we're doing is, this is a float. So it's just a big old rock plastic rock if you will it's got a float you can see there's an attachment point on the back and basically what it does is it holds up the water intake that's out here now water intake can be used for irrigation it can be used for their sprinkler systems that come up uh, in the pond but basically it connects to this valve over here it goes out into the water it stays up with the float and then the intakes just below the surface and that way it goes up and down with the water level um, and it, it feeds whatever they need, the irrigation system or the sprinklers. Well, the intake has broke off of the float and sunk down to the bottom. So we have to go out here and try to locate it. Once we do locate it, we're gonna hook one of our lift bags to it, bring it back up to the surface, reattach it, whether we use rope chain or whatnot, but reattach it to the float and then they can kick the pump back on and see if everything's working. We got a little bit of work to get done today. So we're gonna jump in and see if we can get it done. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this dive here. And I do want to apologize. You're not going to get to see the whole dive. Unfortunately, I did forget to charge my camera uh, the night before this, and so it died. Unfortunately, it died halfway through. But the good news is you probably wouldn't get to see the dive anyways. There's so much dye that's been poured in this pond to make it look pretty from the surface that there's absolutely zero ambient light from the surface. So that being said... What I'm going to do in this video is talk about why we choose to use the lumen of lights that we do and how we actually operate when we can't see what we're doing. Um, I know a lot of people want to get involved in the types of dives that we do, especially firefighters and police officers. I train a lot of them and they want to get involved. They want to do what we do. They like the muddy or they just find it exciting under there. Unfortunately, um, they're not actually prepared and just because you have certain certifications is still not going to necessarily prepare you. When we go to hire a new salvage guy that works for us, or if we're looking to add to our crew members, um, we look at every little aspect. You know, what other background do you have? Do you have a mechanical background? Do you have an engineering background? Because you need a good general knowledge of how things operate, especially when you're dealing in black water like this. Now, the intake that we're trying to raise here it's basically just a floating intake and all we have to do is hook to it with some bags bring it up to the surface and then attach it to the, the float that's that's at the top waiting on us but being able to find the right attachment points and being able to operate the bags that we use and operate our scuba gear if you can't do that basically blindfolded then it's going to be very difficult for you to do that when you're underwater and you can't see what you're doing and once again you are seeing exactly what we see when we're under there and there you can kind of see just a quick little glance of the uh, end of the intake there but you know we use lumen of lights anywhere say between 800 to a thousand a thousand's really pushing it that's kind of the max that we like to use but um you know, 800 to 1,000 tends to be a good uh, light choice just simply because there's not a lot of glare or kickback. But, um, you know, we're using other knowledge. We're using a blue-collar background, if you will, to operate in these conditions. 
uh, understanding how these pumps work and where we're going to attach the bags and how we attach them when you can't see. There's a lot that goes into these dives that I think, unfortunately, a lot of people don't consider when they get into this line of work. And there's not a scuba course that you can take that really prepares you for this. We do a lot of in-house training for our guys that work for us. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we work in Blackwater. Now, the footage is fixing to stop. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you the conditions that we work in and how we kind of overcome not being able to see and still working. All right, guys, so we just got finished up. As you can tell, wasn't much visibility. We had just enough to see exactly what we were doing. But we got that float right there. It's attached to the pipe, and you can actually see the pipe right there. It's got a little air pocket in. They're going to have to kind of figure it out. The cool thing is everything's gravity fed. So, yes, they do have a pump house that pumps the water uphill and through the irrigation. But feeding the pump house, everything is gravity fed. So it goes through multiple uh, pond areas comes down through this goes through this little um, turn valve here and then it goes down uh, through gravity if you will into the pump house and into another overflow but uh yeah another salvage job complete very easy salvage job actually but uh we're gonna get out of here get some lunch get back to the shop and see what else we got going on today if you like this video give me a big thumbs up if you got any questions drop me a comment down below i'll try to answer it the best i can and as quickly as i can as well but until our next video take care god bless and i'll see you in the next one